Hello, everyone, and what the? What did we lose? What did we fail? We failed a quest here. Um, welcome back to the place of Trinity. Let's play. We failed the task here, I think. What is it called? Dinner. Um, we failed something here. Huh. Weird. Yes. Animancer's boots grants jolting touch. What do my boots do again? Of Constitution. Yeah, interesting. Oh man, there's the sanitarium. Completely burning. Apparently, I can't get over that way. Go run before they see you. Welcome. I recognize you. You were the one who spoke up at the hearing. What were you just doing? We got a few of the animators out of the building through the back. A lot of them didn't make it, though. Aren't you with the dozens? It was. The, the things I heard at the hearing today, though, he shakes his head. I had it all backwards. If it was good enough for the Duke, it was good enough for me. I don't care if an animancer did kill him. It doesn't mean we gotta hold them all responsible. This, he gestures at the flames behind him, isn't what we're supposed to do. You now, let's get out of sight. Wait this thing out. Good luck, friend. I am... What is it? Kind of like an animancer. I mean, I'm a cipher. Does that mean I'm an animancer? I would like to be an animancer. I would consider myself to be one some way. I mean, I'm a philosopher who's a cypher. Does that not make me an animancer? In some way, I guess. I don't know. Oh my gosh, is that a third bite? Goodness gracious. Eight mosquitoes. Oh no. As you wish. I'm so sorry. We're just gonna take your money. Level of difficulty influences what creatures and how many may appear in combat. <sighs> oh no. More money. Depressing. Rest in peace, guys. Thanks. Oh, what in the heck? A lady web lies still in her bed, an ornate cushion propping her back upright. The blood pooled beneath her gash, and her chest is tacky and nearly dry. Shattered glass rests on the floor beneath her dangling hand. Feel the faint aura of her fading essence in your ken. You make contact and are immersed in a torrent of sensory input and experience. When it calms, you find yourself in the same room, lying in, a, in bed with a glass of brandy in your hand. Through the walls from the streets outside come the sounds of screams and shattering glass, the cacophony of an angry mob. You take a sip and it warms your gullet. Across the room, the, doors op the, the door opens behind a patient's steady push. Into the room walks Thaus, the floorboards creaking beneath deliberate steps. You wait until the last of the brandy has trickled down your throat before you speak. I was a fool to think I could tame these people. You came closer than most. A fine epitaph. No worse than any. You're concentrating, focusing with all your energy. It feels as though you are diving into a stone wall over and over, but it cracks suddenly, unexpectedly, unexpectedly, allowing the vaguest wisp of a thought to leak through. What's in Twin Elms? Did you pull that from my thoughts? I've had time to practice. Ah. Uh. He, he walks over to the small table and raises the half empty brandy bottle to, his, to eye level. He seems to approve of the selection and begins to reach for an empty glass. I was saving that for someone. Pity. You know this is how it has to be. 
His words come freely absent of all doubt. He draws a long curved knife from his belt, smeared with fresh blood. His left hand, he gently pins your sternum as he raises the knife in the other, its point dangling above your heart. Prove it. Thaos slips the knife between your ribs and pushes it through. Layers of tissue separate with brittle, papery stiffness and blood boils up around the blade. The pulse of reflex causes you to drop your glass to the floor and you hear it shatter. With the last of your strength, you take his knife, his knife hand in both of yours, the question radiant in your mind. For an instant, to your great surprise, the pathway to his mind is left open to you, unguarded, and the answer comes, simple, cataclysmic, and it's reordering of your thoughts. As Lady Webb, you feel as though you have an answer you've searched for all your life, but in your own mind, her understanding lies just beyond your reach. As you look at Thaos with with the wide eyes of someone seeing for for the first time and draw your last breath as black, velvety darkness descends over you. The wide eyes of someone seeing for the first time. Okay. Smoke rises above the city walls in billowing plumes that blacken the sky like a storm. Behind the walls, the riots rage on. Known patrons of Anamancy are forced into hiding as looters ransack their estates and make off with their possessions. Anamancers are torn away from their families and dragged from their homes to be stoned to death in the streets. Word had spread immediately that Duke Avar had been assassinated and that an Anamancer was to blame. The city wasted little time in exacting revenge and little effort into evaluating guilt. In the center of it all, Brackenberry Sanitarium burned. And down the lane, Hodred House, the last bastion of stability in the Deerwood, had fallen silent. Now safely outside the city gate, your path points eastward to Twin Elms, where Theos is bound, for reasons that remain mysterious as the Leaden Key itself. Huh. Just like Baldur's Gate, guys, because, you know, the uh, doppelgangers, well, it's not just like Baldur's Gate, obviously it's different, but it's very similar. You have to fight them all off, except this time around we actually don't fight anyone. of House Hadrit. Assassin at large. Okay. Yes. Let's proceed to pass through Stormwall Gorge is open. What? Finally. Even the villages are better than this. Oh, we're at the uh, bridge again. It's apparently rough to Stormwall Gorge. Although, I would probably prefer to stop in Cadnua first. As you cross the bridge, Alf draws up beside you. The fires of Defiance Bay cast a shivering, flickering light across one half of his face. The other in dark is in darkness. Please stop. I need to tell you something. Go ahead. I have not been entirely honest about my motives for traveling with you up to this point. When I finished my training in Adir, I was introduced to an organization. All I knew was that they were opposed to the unchecked spread of Animancy, and that they could guarantee me postings far away from the Seathwood, my father and his Earl. At that time, it was enough. In the early years, I thought of them as many things. Hooded men, prudent teachers, the Leaden Key. Their rules were strict, but their guidance was clear. I sincerely believe they wanted to keep Kith from the folly of their own foolish ambitions. I came to the Deerwood a little over a year ago. My orders were to gather information on Animancy in the region. A senior contact met with me every few months to receive my reports and issue new leads. She sent me to Gilded Vale to keep an eye on events surrounding the local lord, but I lost track of her shortly after that. I don't know if she was reassigned, killed, or sacrificed the way you saw. At the time you met me, I'd been on my own for a couple of months. Hmm. What did you want from me? I needed some kind of direction. After that scrape with the locals, I was ready to get out of town. But then, you mentioned the hooded figures in the machine. 
And I was sure you were on the trail of the Leaden Key. And I was correct, in a way. What we found wasn't what I expected. I knew the Leaden Key was trying to stop Anamancy, but I didn't realize how far they'd gone. Murder, sabotage, abandoning entire districts to shambling horrors. And now the whole city is up in flames. I'm still not sure about Anamancy, but I know I've been following the wrong master. Please, accept my apology and my service. Let me fight with you to stop Theos. And what do you really expect us to do with this too late confession? Trust you on your word? For all your supposed extra senses, you let this happen? How like a watcher to miss what's right in front of his eyes because he's too busy dancing in the air there. I still, I still feel kind of attached, even with the betrayal. It's got this way of taking offense that I really like. Tough one. <laughs> Wow. Finish with you. Hmm. Accepted. Yeah, I think we'll go three. Forgive you, Aleph. I want you beside me, not behind me. I'm not asking you to trade one master for another. That would be an honor. This is why it's so unclad. Let's go. Well? Cool. Alice seems like a decent guy. Oh, uh, Adair wants to talk to me. Did I fail? Is it was it his quest that I failed? I'm not really sure. It doesn't look like it. Say what you want about Dear Woodens. If they haven't met the problem yet, they couldn't solve by killing some scapegoats. Flash well, the hall smile. You fight for people because you won't, you see something there that deserves defending. You have more so because someone you trust sees it too. Then you turn around, they do something like this, and the person who made you want to help them is gone. Uh, I guess we'll go three? We aren't really fighting for them. For all of them, though. <laughs> Just like... The ones I like, then. Just the ones I like, then. Maybe. Maybe. It'd be nice if you got to choose. To the low lives that if you die, it wouldn't be for their sorry hides. Never thought I'd find myself missing the hospitality back home. Interesting. Hey. What? <laughs> okay. Yes. I'll take care of it. Okay, then. I guess we go to Stormwall Gorge. And, uh. First. Uh, that fish is in 11 hours. Alright then. Stormwall Gorge it is. Actually, I think we'll stop in Durford Village first. Uh, we'll get the resting bonus there and. continue on our jolly way. I wonder if what happens in Defiance Fairy there impedes any progress with your character companion's quest, like, uh, whatever. I never really got around to that. What's my reputation in Defiance Fairy? It's still only faintly good, so I still don't believe I would actually get to what I need to be doing for Adair. Library, the Botanical Gardens, Hedge Maze, let's go with the Botanical Gardens. I remember last time I helped birth in the village. Yeah. On everyone, chopped up. Chop, chop. I can't believe we haven't leveled up yet. I would imagine someone, like, I would imagine we would have leveled up by now, but uh, I guess not.
Hey, maybe we can actually go into that ruin because if Good day, stranger. The water in the Stormwell Gorge sunk. Maybe it also sunk that ruin? I don't know. Just what I think. How close are we to leveling up then? We're still a ways away then. Hmm? Alright. Well. No point in concerning over it right now. The farmer dude got his stuff back, or his pigs back, or at least some of them. Talk to him. Might find to see you again. Business is looking up thanks to you. Yeah, you're welcome. Run faster. Normal gorge. Imagine we're getting pretty close to the end. The gnomes is the second big city or whatever. Gonna have to wonder what we can do there. I don't think I've actually found all the I have. There's not really that many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seventh one died. Well uh Yeah, it's open now. Does that have to do with this or that? An outer disk is wedged into a shallow depression in the rock. Ruins glow from its surface. So someone put something there. Or... I don't know. What is it? Um... I think we'll do this area before we continue on to uh, with the main quest, because I'd like to get this area over with, and I think we can get something nice out of it. We're level 8, and so it should be a piece of cake, because the enemies in this area are not particularly difficult. Like in the beta, I think you would do this area around level 5 or 6, and we're level 8 right now. on any attack in the combat log to show more detailed information on how it was resolved. I think we actually have a lot of stuff in our stash right now, too, that we can sell. Get some more moolah. Some copper pans. At first I called it gold. <laughs> and then I called it copper pieces. And now I actually know it's copper pans. The stairs have collapsed, leaving a long drop to the floor below. I think a grappling hook and climb down. I guess we can do that. Secure a grappling hook to the to a cleft in the broken stairs and toss the line down. As you slide down the rope, the rushing of water rumbles in your ears as it sounds as though the lake from the gorge is still draining into into some distant reservoir. Suddenly a violent tremor rocks the cavern and you feel your grip loosen from the rope. Durance's hands release their grip on the rope and Durance plummets, landing face first on the wet floor. You reach the bottom, your feet splashing in a puddle of water. Well played, Durance, you fool. You old fool. Should know better. Actually, you just need more athletics. As soon as I level up, I will give you more athletics. Swollen eye? Minus two perception, 20 accuracy. Whatever. Hey, this area is not so laggy. Where is it? They look a thing that I could probably solo if I wanted to. Oh crap. Oh no, keep doing that. Hey. Yes? You back up. Quit? What? Following your lead. Hi? 
Yes. I have to reload. Seriously? Hey. Bam. Okay. What is it? Alright, do this. And actually, we'll take a wild leech out of this thing. Quit. I have them. Nice. What is uh, let's see what I get. I get. Oh my gosh. An insane amount of intelligence. I am super smart. What is the. How long will this last? At least 12 seconds, 22 seconds. 12 to 25. Cool. Wait. Duration and area of effect. Oh, now it shows that. Holy cow. That is gigantic. Um. How long will this last? Dominated for 19 seconds. Jeez. Okay, I should probably use something like antipathetic field because we've got this thing between us. Hey, let's use another wild leech on this thing while we've got all this intellect. So uh, you don't need to attack you. that. I'm gonna handle this on my yes. own. Okay. That got me... Wait, what? 28. I don't think that did anything. But, okay. Okay, whatever. I guess that just increases the duration. Of course. All right. That's neat. As you wish. What's this? Oh, I figured. Run! Can't run from the traps, apparently. Oh, of course. Oh, what's this? Your pipe of thinking, perception, and lore giving, which probably won't really benefit anyone, as everyone's already got like something with perception, like that's reflex. This is perception, right? Yeah. Perception and resolve, and this is only perception and lore. Maybe it'll do something for him. That gives him perception and stealth. I would much have him rather have him with perception and and lore. But. It makes him look kind of funny, but, you know, who cares? What does this do for him? Get, gives him intellect. If only I can wear a helmet that I'm a death god like, but oh well. Uh, I guess that's it. He doesn't have anything, but he's already got something that gives him uh, perception, doesn't he? Yeah, the gloves. Still. Might as well let him have this for that stealth, at least. Wait a second. Don't we have something that gives athletics? Like boots? Nope. Don't take touch. Nope. Hey, we can give this to him. Nope. He doesn't have boots. None of these guys have boots. Okay. Yes. We're. We're on some. Weak and full. Yes. Of course. Wait for all that uh, endurance to come back. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Hey, it actually shows the area of effect now. Of course, it applies behind the target and not, uh... Hey. It shows. It may be a bug, but... I don't know. I think that's something that should be fixed, though. Like, it should show the relative area of effect from your target, not from yourself. Okay. 
Bam. Dang, I do a lot of damage. How much damage have I done at this point? Almost 30,000. 30, Dang. We've got Diplomatic 3 and Benevolent 3. I like that. Of course. I'm a rather diplomatic cipher. Maybe I'll be a politician when I grow up. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm definitely not going to be a politician. At least in, not, not in real life. And I don't really want to be a politician in real life. Not that I wouldn't make a great one. <laughs> no, I'd probably make a terrible one. Because I'd be maybe a little too honest. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm not sure where this takes us. I'm not sure if I want to go that way, or... Oh, we missed something. Yes. Oh, well, we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, that'll be the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying it, and we'll see you in the next one.